Hello, it's Damien Questney. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. I wanted to talk with you about some personal items for those people out there who are interested in such things. I wanted to point out an observation. When I started this YouTube channel, it received moderate success. People were responding well to it. I met some really interesting people through it and people were responding and asking questions and I, it seemed like people were really interested in learning about these topics and learning about remote viewing and how to really do it every day if you wanted to. And things were going well. I was getting subscribers. And then I posted a video a while ago called Learn to read a map and change the world. So, why this video? Why did everything stop after this video? Because of what I show in the video. The video is a roadmap for America for the next five years of where the activity and the energy and the calories are going to be spent and utilized and moved and how society is going to Play a game of organization, of commitment to truth. And it's, this is going to be how things play out. That's why. That's why that video. And if you can read it, you can participate and benefit and be a player. And ever since I posted that video, I have not received any activity. I have not even received a new subscriber. Now, I'm not on this YouTube channel for subscribers. But what I am on here for is to have dialogue with people of like mind and like interests. So that way I can learn and you can learn. So I wanted to share that observation. Maybe I'm being paranoid or maybe I'm not talking about the right things. Maybe I'm not talking about things that people are actually interested in anymore. They're moved on. That's a possibility. If that's the case, there is no need for me to have this YouTube channel because there's no activity. There's no interest. So if there's no interest from the world, why would I continue to put my energy into it? So either that's the case or there's something else going on. That's why I'm bringing up this question. Tell me what you think. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Maybe I'm impatient. These are possibilities. I'm sure there's that in there, right? I do have emotion. I do have feelings. Thanks for listening. Cheers. For those of you who are still on and listening, there's a bonus for you. I'll put my tinfoil hat on and let's do some speculation and technology and possibilities. Could you ever see a world where the hollow deck exists or for those who are familiar with the movie the matrix when neo and morpheus are in the construct and they can get whatever they want from it learn whatever they want in this big white room you want to be a fighter you can be a fighter you want to be a lover that option of course is available japan is leading the charge on that one, aren't they? Robotics. Could we use robots, by the way, to fight our battles for us while we hide away in our little white boxes, hollow decks, with 
whatever fighting instrument that we like, whatever looks most appealing to destroy the enemy or to play in the sand if we're on a beach in our hollow deck. What do you think? Is that something people would want in their lives? Is something like that? Could that technology already exist? Another personal note. I have a person in my inner circle who uses a resin to manufacture countertops and house material. And one of the things that uh, I would love to create with him one day, because part of the hypertech school is to invent things, right? This is the human ingenuity, human imagination at work to make something from that imagination, something unique, something new. Not mimicked, but new. Not reflected like a mirror, but new. And those of you out there know exactly what I'm talking about. But I wanted to work with him on you know, some level and some day because I wanted to use a silver mesh inside of this resin for making walls and making countertops too. And all these things where the silver will actually, uh, if you do it right, will can conduct electricity in such a way where you just put a device on the wall or on the countertop and it'll charge it for you or it'll give you electricity. It'll give you the ability to run that unit anywhere without having to look for a wall socket. You can just say, hey, I'm standing right here. I'll just put it down right there. Boom, done. Instant energy because of the material of the walls. Could that be done? I don't know. I want to try it out, though. I like the idea. I think it's a good one. I'd put energy in that. Thanks, everybody, for listening. I'm going to slow down on the videos, I think. See what's going on. Reflect a little bit. Maybe I'm not listening to you guys out there enough, and I'm not responding to your questions well, so I have no new activity. I appreciate you listening to the bonus section, and uh, you all have a great day. All right, cheers.